Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This is Crypto Elite, home to the number one Theta community. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in the Crypto Elite Creator Pass, it comes with exclusive content, giveaways, and AMAs. Sign up in the uh, form below. And I just want to say, I think we're going to be a couple days late on this. So I did want to shoot for the November 1st deadline to make this go live. But like I said, I think we're going to have to push it back due to some technical issues, maybe November 3rd or 4th. But I will get back to you soonest whenever this is officially live. It'll be a brand new website and you'll be able to mint directly from that website. So like I said, if you fill out the form, I will let you know first when that website is live and what the website is. So definitely fill out the form if you are interested and I will keep you up to date. In today's video though, we have two stories that I did want to go over. The first one has to do with a brand new NFT drop that is coming to Theta Drop. And this one I like a lot, guys, and I'll tell you why the background story of why I like it um, uh, for, for a couple reasons. And as you can see here, it is coming very, very soon, and it's by Synopsis. So that's the first story I wanted to talk about. The second story has to do with Playtatoes from Imagine Replay. I'll give you a step-by-step -step instruction if you're able to pick up one of these NFTs, how to sync it to your Imagine Replay. We're going to go through it together. I haven't done it yet. The uh, steps look pretty easy, but like I said, this is a quick how-to video. Hopefully, I can fit these two stories into this video and not make the overall video too long. So let's check out this first one, and this is the Mysteria by Synopsis. Like I said, this is something that popped up on Twitter for me when I first learned about it, and it says, feel the beat and depth of the mysterious and fascinating atmosphere created for you. And it's a Mysteria drop by Synopsis Event, and it drops Friday, November 4th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So that is something, uh, another NFT that's kind of shrouded in secrecy. I know when we first started the Theta drop uh, drops, the big ones at least, you had the Secret Pineapple Society, Cos uh, Cosmographia. There's a lot of secret uh, NFTs where you didn't really know the backstory. It seems like we're kind of heading that way again with this one, but I, like I said, I think more information is kind of out there than uh, meets the eye. So if we go to Theta Drop right now, you can go to Synopsis, the Mysterio, and you can see there's a quantity of 500 of them, and it's a Mysterio pack. And let's check out the details over here. So the Mysterio NFT on Theta Drop to discover how full music tracks become their owners. So feel the beat and depth of the mysterious and fascinating atmosphere created for you. Now, I'm not exactly sure everything that is involved there, but it does seem like there is going to be music tracks for NFTs. And I, I don't know exactly how it, it directly relates to uh, the music becoming their owners, but the fact that Theta is going out of their way to make or and partnering with other uh, individuals to make music tracks as NFTs reminds me a lot of a different company that is also in the Web3 space, and that is Audius. So if Theta can do everything that Audius can do, then that just eats out of the market share of Audius because they are utility tokens. They're very similar in that manner. When Theta first came out, it was known for streaming. Now they've kind of gone on past just streaming and video network. They, they are a lot more. They're more of an infrastructure play than just video streaming. Audius, on the other hand, they have not moved on past their one and only thing, which some might say, you know, that is their laser focus item, which is also good, but it is a competition to Spotify, if you will. So it's a decentralized Web3 Spotify is one way to think about it. But if Theta can do the same thing with their NFT drop, then that would just eat into the share of Audius. And like I said, there, there needs to be more than just an NFT drop. There has to be a platform that's built very similar to Audius or Spotify in order to pull a lot of people to it. But unlike Audius, I think Theta's version let's say they do create a version, could be a lot more decentralized and a lot more into the Web3 space and audience because Theta has the Theta Edge store. So all of those NFT tracks, they're not going to be stored on centralized servers. They would be hypothetically stored 
onto edge nodes and elite edge nodes that are spread throughout the world in a true decentralized manner. So that's why I am actually very excited about this drop just because it has opened the door and hopefully it continues other developers come and snatch up the idea to perhaps build some sort of MP3 type of um, product on Theta. So that that's why I'm pretty excited about this. It's just something that could happen. Not to say that it will happen, but if it does happen, that would be very bullish for it. And like I said, just eat into the market share to, of other crypto. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. Very happy to see it. The second thing has to do with Playtatoes. So let's check it out. If you haven't already, go check out a Theta drop and claim your Play Tato. This is the one that I was able to get. Pretty happy with this little dude. But uh, imagine replay on uh, Twitter. They posted a tweet and some medium article. And this is how to claim your Play Tato NFT, which I kind of showed you in my previous video, so I won't go over that. But you can sync your Discord and then update your profile picture. And then you earn a little bit of bonus replay for a limited time. So we will do that. I did scan through this and I will link this in the description below so you should have an understanding of how to do it as well but i'm assuming that you were able to get your play tato and from there um, if you go to rewarded tv get your link then you can sign into your dashboard so this is my dashboard this is what it looks like and apparently all i need to do is sync to theta drop so i will do that and i can connect to my theta drop account and it is synced that is pretty easy peasy. It says, please wait while retrieve your replay NFT. So I bet that'll probably just take a couple potatoes here. And awesome. It looks like it did it. So that was, uh, I believe, my step, one and only step. Let's go back through here and see what else I need to do. So now you have to go to the profile section and fill out all the information, including the uh, Discord section. And then you just have to link to Discord. So if we go to profile and then we'll go profile once again, I'll fill out all this information and then link Discord. So we'll link the Discord account so you guys can see this at least. I'll authorize it. So upload avatar, there it is. Set as profile photo. Boom, should be just that easy peasy. And with that, I believe comes 250 replay tokens. So like I said, it is actually very easy to do that. I would recommend everyone once again, picking up the avatar is very easy on Theta Drop, and then also just linking your Discord and uploading that avatar to it. So if you have any questions, this video is a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. Um, let me know in the comment section below. And like I said, I will keep everyone up to date on when the website goes live where you can mint this creator pass just from the website. You don't have to go directly through me. If you fill out the form, I will let you know before the rest of the community. So that is the perk of filling out the form. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on the next one.